Good morning, girls. It's time for the Shopper's Workout 2. Now, if you haven't done the Shopper's Workout 1, please check that out because that gives you all the safety tips you need to know to do this uh, exercise program safely and in excellent form. For this time, we're gonna get our handbags for a little bit of resistance and we're gonna warm up by marching and breathing deeply for eight counts. Here we go, eight, seven, six, five, smile, it's a brand new day, last one, and release. Now, I want you to do those calf raises that we did before, but hold on to your handbag so you get a little extra resistance. My handbag weighs four and a half pounds, so that's enough. You don't have to have a lot of resistance, but a little resistance helps. Now, last time we did eight to 10 repetitions of every exercise. This time we're gonna go for like 16 to 20. So keep going, let's do 10 more. 10, nine, up and squeeze. You got seven to go, you can make it. If you get tired, if you start to cramp, just stop. You can work up to it. Five, four, three, Last two, one more big one, up and squeeze the calf muscles and release. Good. Now we're gonna take one foot forward, one foot back, bend the front knee, push the back heel down and hold the stretch. Tummy in tight, breathing deeply and change sides. Stretch your calf, hold and breathe and release. Perfect. And now we're ready for squats. So this time again, we're gonna use that handbag, separate your feet, and as you lower your hands, go out, and as you come up, you squeeze your butt. So you're gonna feel this in the front of your shoulders or your anterior deltoids, and you're gonna feel it in the quadriceps and the hips. Lower and lift, so this is a little harder. And if you need to, you can put your handbag down, use your bed for balance, and do it without weight. Let's do 10 more. 10, abs in tight and lift your chest. Don't lower your hips below your knees. Exhale as you lift and squeeze your bottom. Four, three, good job. Here you go, your last rep and come up. Perfect. One foot forward, one foot back, up on the back toe. Dip down, push your hips forward and hold. And let's do the other side. So as you can see, these are very easy exercises. Once you learn them, you won't need me anymore. You can just do these exercises while you're watching TV because they're so easy. Okay, plie squats. This time we're gonna do an upright row. So we're gonna dip down into our plie. As you come up, bag comes up to your chin. Lower and lift, lower and lift. So it's a little bit more weight. You're getting a little bit more workout for those inner thighs as well as your upper body. And breathe, let's do 10 more. 10, nine, eight, think about your posture, nice straight back. Five, four, you're doing great. Building beautiful legs. Last two. Last one, down and hold to stretch. And come up, perfect. Moving on to the outer thighs, we're gonna hold that handbag up, point the toe out and just lift towards your bag. For 12 more, 11, 10. Good job, these are hard. Seven, bend your support leg and five, four, three more, two, and one. Beautiful. So this also works your delts, because when you're holding your arm out to keep that bag up, your shoulders get a workout too. And 12 more, 11, bottom leg is bent, working the outer hip and thigh. 10, nine, eight abs in and six five four three more last two and you're done good work so put your bag down your inside knee comes up 
take it across and hold the stretch. Perfect. Other side. Bring that knee up and across and feel a nice stretch in your outer hip and thigh. And release. Moving on to the back of our legs. We're going to take our handbag, bend the knees, keep a nice flat back and a pulled in tummy for your deadlifts. Down to the floor and then drag it up your legs. Bag goes down, bag drags up. And let's do about 14 more. So this really works the back of your legs and the lower connector to your hip. Squeeze it right there. Eight more. Breathe deeply, abs in tight, flat back, bend the knees a little bit. And six, five, you're doing so great. Four, this is so easy, you can do it. Two, and one. Fabulous. Put your bag on your bed, and let's stretch. Slide all the way down, bend your knees a little bit, and hold at the bottom, and just feel how good it feels to stretch the back of your legs and your lower back. Take a breath, bend your knees, roll up, one vertebrae at a time, head comes up last, and we're ready to move on right into our push-ups. So you don't need your bag. We're going to be up on our toes, or you can come a little bit closer, bend your knees and hinge from the hips, but we're gonna do 15 push-ups. So if you can't do 15 push-ups, just do as many as you can and then rest. This is three, press it out, four, five, one third of the way there. Think about a nice strong upper body. And 12 more. You're doing so great. You're really strong. Last 10. Nine. Stomach in, back flat. Seven. Six. It's getting hard, but you can do it. Last two. Last one. Beautiful. And let's stretch. Inhale, reach back. Contract the shoulder blades. Exhale and reach and lift way up tall. Good, okay. And now you can use your purse if you want for your chest squeezes. Hold it and press in and release. In and release. For 10, nine, contract your chest muscles, tighten and release. Let's do six more. Six, five, you can do it. Four, feel it in the pecs. Three, really squeeze. Two, and one. Perfect. Now, let's do some waist twists. Nice and slow. Working the midriff. Let's do 10 more of these. 10, pull your tummy in. And you've got six to go, whittling down that waistline. Looks great. Last two, last one. Beautiful job. Up and over to stretch. And switch and release. We're ready for your last exercise, so your bag goes down on the floor, hop on your bed for the superwoman's. Here we go, one arm up, opposite leg up, and release. Two, three. This is six, if you're a beginner, you can stop here, that's fine. And let's do eight more for the advanced students. One, two, three, Four, you're doing great. Five, keep your abs pulled in. Last two, last one. And you did it. Good job. Up to your hands and knees. Relax in child's pose. And you made it. Good job. You are all ready to shop. Thanks for help, um, working out with me. If you want to have more shopping tips, 
go to Amazon.com or BarnesandNoble.com, wherever you buy your eBooks, and look for Shop by Missy Steinfeld. Thanks. Bye-bye.